Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to Breaking Free from MPD with Lizzie. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Again, uh, my name is Evangelist Lizzie Harrison. Uh, I am the CEO and founder of Harrison's Referral Services. And uh, my content I want to share with you tonight uh, I pray that it resonates with you. Again, I like to share in all of my videos. I'm not a doctor or a psychiatrist. I was a victim of domestic violence as well as narcissistic abuse. And so the content that I share on my channel is uh, to help uh, to reveal and to restore that hope, love, trust, and faith, knowing all things are possible through Christ that strengthens us. So I hope that my uh, content resonates with you in some kind of way. Again, if this is your first time and you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. Again, please hit the bell icon so you can receive any of my upcoming videos. Please like the videos. Please share my videos. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. Again, if there's anything that you'd like for me to share, any particular video or topic that you would like for me to talk about, please let me know and I would love to be able to do a video on it. And so if you are already a subscriber, again, welcome back. Welcome to Breaking Free from MPD with Lizzie. Now, my topic tonight I want to talk about tonight is that God has a purpose for your life. God has a purpose for your life and abuse, narcissistic abuse and domestic violence was not God's purpose for your life. God's purpose for our life was us to have life and to have it more abundantly. God has created you and me to live the life and the calling that God has for us. God wanted us to prosper and to be in good health. He wanted us to be able to, to be businessmen, uh, businesswomen. Uh, he wanted us to be good mothers, good fathers, good partners, uh, good Christians. God wanted us and made us in his image. We were fearfully and wonderfully made. And so I want to stop by to let you know today that even though you might have been hurt even though you might be going through abuse or have been through abuse or have been marginalized due to abuse or displaced due to abuse or narcissistic abuse, God has a purpose for your life. Whether you're a male or female, whether you're a king or a queen, God has something planned for us. And God has put us on this earth to blossom and to change lives and to be leaders and to prosper and to pursue our destinies. God did not intend for another human being to come and to hurt the heart that God has given you. He did not create you to be trampled upon, to be mistreated, to be abused, to be disrespected, to be rejected. God has created us to be accepted, to be accepted by him, to be accepted in his kingdom and to be accepted by the world. I know right now you might feel that there's no hope. You might feel that, you know, what can God do with me? How can God use me? Why am I going through this? Why every relationship I seem to get involved in, someone always seems to mistreat me and someone always seems to hurt me. Well, I want to ask you today or tell you today, you have to look within. Maybe you were a people pleaser like I was. Maybe you were someone that always wanted to see the good in every person. Is that a bad thing? No, it's not. But sometimes that can get us in trouble. I know I had a, a really bad habit of wanting to rescue people all the time, wanting to help people all the time. And no matter how good I was to people, that it always seemed, I will always seem to get hurt in the end. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you should change and you shouldn't continue to be the good person that you are or the person that God has called you to be. But you have to be careful and mindful that sometimes we tend to, uh, especially if you're an empath, sometimes we uh, tend to want to fix people, want to help people. And we can't help every person. You can't fix anyone. You can't even fix yourself. God has to do that. And so I want you to know that Continue to be the beautiful king that you are, the beautiful queen that you are. Continue to be what God has called you to be. And understand that abuse and the mistreatment that you have uh, endured by the hands of another human being doesn't, um, it doesn't say who you are as a person. If you have failed at relationships, if you have failed at marriages, you can't blame yourself because another person decided to abuse you or another person decided to mistreat you. Another person didn't understand the treasure that you were to them. A lot of times people uh, get one opportunity in life to actually meet their soulmates, to actually have the actual person that God is really intent for you to be with. And sometimes those people can't see that because they think the grass is greener on the other side or they think something else is out there better for them, not knowing that everything that God 
has for them is right there in front of them. And you can't force someone to see that. You can't make someone accept you. You cannot, um, uh, you know, again, force someone to, uh, to love you. If they can't see you for who you are, that's their mistake. And so God wants us to move on in our lives and to be healthy and to be strong and to pursue again, the life that God has called for us. God has that special someone out there for you. He has that special someone out there for me. He has that special, uh, position, a special job, that special soulmate, whatever it is that God had intent for you, God will give it to you. And we can't look for that in another person. You have to first love yourself. You have to first love who you are. You have to first love the creator that created you. And you have to understand that abuse was not your fault, that you did not allow, not allow, but you did not call someone else to mistreat you. Whoever that person is that mistreated you have to deal with God for mistreating such a wonderful treasure that God has made. And so I'm asking you today that you have to not only forgive yourself for allowing yourself to be in that abusive relationship, for allowing yourself to stick around for so long, for allowing yourself to be trampled upon, for allowing yourself to try to fix your relationships and try to fix your marriages, but the other person didn't want to do it. You have to let it go. You have to understand that God has something better. And sometimes God has to remove people out of our lives so that way we can receive the blessings and you can receive the blessings that God has for you and me. And so I'm here to tell you today that no matter what happens, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. When the enemy comes in like a flood, God promised that he will lift up a standard against him. And so we have to understand again that you are fearfully and wonderfully made and you are made in God's image. So you can understand that you are loved you are beautiful and you are healthy and that God is going to bless you with a healthy partner, someone that's going to resonate with you, going to relate to you and that you are going to come together on one accord. You're going to have that same spirit. You're going to have that same motivation. Get excited about it. Get excited about what God has for you. Get excited about the business. Get excited about the relationship. Get excited about the new people that you're going to meet. Get excited because God has something wonderful for his children. And so one point in my life, I felt like, you know, my whole life I've been through abuse. And so, but the thing about it, that didn't make who I am. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I love who I am. Despite of what happened to me, it didn't make me feel that I couldn't love again. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to loving again. I'm looking forward to a beautiful, healthy relationship with someone else. I'm looking forward to pursuing my dreams, pursuing my business, to continue to be the best mother I can be, the best grandmother I can be, the best prayer partner I can be, the best friend you can be. Whatever you are, the best king, the best man or woman, whatever you can be, be your best at it and give it all you got because God has created us that way. And so you have a wonderful day. You have a wonderful evening, wherever part of the world that you're in. Thank you for tuning in again to Breaking Free from MPD with Lizzie. And remember that you are created in God's image and you are wonderfully made. God has made us perfect and there is nothing wrong with us. God, you're not crazy. You're not psycho. You're not um, depressed. You're not insane. You're not ugly. You're not fat. You're not unattractive. You are beautiful. You are perfect. And once you look at yourself that way and don't worry about what the narcissist or the other abuser has said to you or tried to make you feel, you wake up every day and you tell yourself that you are a beautiful creation in God. And so again, please like this video. Please leave a comment down below. If you love yourself, Please leave a comment down below to encourage others um, on this channel or to encourage others through the video that they are fearfully and wonderfully made. We have to build each other up, encourage each other to love each other and to support each other. So again, thank you for tuning in to Breaking Free from NPD. And remember to love yourself for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him would not perish but have everlasting life. And you have an everlasting day. And thank you again for tuning in. Until the next video, you all have a wonderful day.